Okay, you know what? Maybe I need to draw a line in the sand and look at look at where I am. This is kind of un uncharted territory. Maybe I just take a right. I, th I think that's what I do. Th this is a cutoff. I have to cut off somewhere. This area, I'm starting to see a lot more light roots, and that's... I'm not after... I'm not after that. I'm after something specific. Let's just do that. It's all too easy for me to, to make that call and just be like, I'm just gonna, you know... I'm just gonna get another light root when I know that I'm gonna be cutting half of it out anyway. In my mind, it's like, oh, it's free content. But at the end of the day... It's a, like a seven hour recording session and it's just becomes a clip show of all the important things, which is good. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with a clip show. It makes it more entertaining for you and it makes it makes me feel better about releasing the episode because I know that I did something. Hold the phone. I'm going to delete one of these just because I... That's really weird. You see that, right? What is that light? But when we don't have anything else, like, when that's all I'm doing is is going and, and cutting out, you know, hours and hours of content, and when it wasn't my goal, I, I want it, I, it. It's important because it's part of my goal. Otherwise, it just doesn't feel that important. Uh, I don't like this. Do I have another one? It's, been, it's going to be a bit until we're back in the depths, so I don't really feel bad. No, I don't, but I do have food that'll cure it, so maybe I just tank this. Should be told that I'm not tanking that much. Okay, maybe I took tanked a little bit. Oh, it's a Giga base. That's, again way outside of our scope. Okay. 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 Back on track, pal. About face. Forward march. And eat food while you're at it. Nice. Little bit of AoE. You know, that's something I haven't tried on the frocks, but I think it might work. It's a nocturnal creature, right? I almost wonder if, if, um... Not shock fruit, but the light fruit, whatever it's called, I forget what it's called, would work on him. It seems sound. Uh, what do you have? I don't care, actually. Okay, we're close to this red, this last light root, the second, sorry, second to last light fruit. Another Yiga base, which is good, because I, I turned my nose up at the one, and then I was rewarded with another. Oh, there's the light root, cool. We'll get that first. It'll ruin the element of surprise a little bit. But this looks like a pretty big base, so, and I don't have the benefit of high ground this time. We are getting so much Zonite. I'm really excited to increase my battery. I've been doing so much more building recently that that's gonna that's gonna help me a lot. The koala of the light root. Can I just make the shot of the century here? We're aided with an eyeball, so it's really not the shot of the century. Can I just go for the head? Get the charge, get the charge, get the charge. Later? I think I can. I can! Yeah! Okay! And then we can conquer this from the top down. We can, If we're interested in it, then we can go from there, but as it stands, oh. You know what? Let's do one of these. Later. Nice try, nice, nice car there, bud. It's a car. I guess I could have made a pretty easy show of ascending through this. But it doesn't matter. I'm at the end. We can get our journal entry. We can get our reward. What's the schematic? Is it something, you know, useful? Not like the last garbage that we got? This one is a crystal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this one is a... Yeah. Schematic for what? Instant scaffold. I probably should have recognized that. Um, that's not great. Where is the journal? Because I like learning. 
You, sir. Are annoying. Journal entry. There's something odd about the wall stretching from the floor to the ceiling. It looks artificial. Not natural at all. But there's no entrance and I can't blast my way through. I'm sure some kind of tre there's some kind of treasure inside. How can I reach it? I can't dig. Maybe I should try the surface first. If I remember right, I feel like there was some similar man-made ruins in the surface called Lo May or something. Glory to Master Koka. Where was Lo May? And what are they talking about? Are they talking about that? That's not it. Lake Lumini. Where was Lo May? It's certainly near here, right? Um Lo May. I remember I remember Lome Ruins very well, like as a name. I just don't remember where they're supposed to be. Eh. Well. Uh we're going. Going over there. And then there. And then probably that as well. Let's end off the session. Ish. Probably won't be the end of the session, but for dramatic effect, it is the end of the session. Ugh. We're good, and we're able to fly all the way to that X, and I have to circumvent the map or a wall. So I should probably start turning starboard. There's another one of those. I think I might have gotten that one. I don't. I don't remember. I mean, they're not terribly useful. They're not. They're not that great. So I, I don't really care about ascending to the surface. Usually, only one of them has really yielded a reward, but all of them have been perfectly obtainable from the surface. Uh, turn, 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 turn. Let's eat some juice. I've gotten enough juice that I don't feel bad about eating more. A very weird wall. Man, the depths is still just spooky. I hope that feeling never leaves me. It coming from Breath of the Wild, it's just cool to see them do this all this cool stuff with the map. It's cool to see the cool stuff with the map. Great. Great English there. Is that? Uh lift this up. Oh, there we go. We have an objective. Get ready to jump. Jump! I have no idea where I'm headed here. Yeah, it's just neat to be in Breath of the Wild and see so much variety. See them using this, this engine. What? Hi? There we go. Actually, I actually have to stand on the nose of this thing and make sure I don't, huh? I don't hit the ceiling. There's an arena over there. Yeah, I was very excited for this game when I, I found... Honestly, every single time a game is... Is postponed, I kind of get excited. Because it means they're able to work on it for longer. They're able to polish it more. The ideas that they had throughout the development, they can nail down more. And we we saw that. Granted, Majora's Mask has an insanely short uh, had an ex insanely short development time. So that's you know not entirely um, emblematic of of my point. But at the same time, it fo immediately followed Ocarina of Time. So they had design notes. They had ideas. They're like, what if we could do this? We can't do it entirely in the development of Ocarina of Time because we have constraints and we have a deadline, but let's just think about that. What We're going to have to kind of settle for Hyrule Town being, you know, not that amazing, but if we had more time, we'd do this instead. And then you see them get a second game, and they do all of that. They make a world that feels so alive, and characters that, that have desires and hopes, and I thought I heard an enemy. And schedules and literally lives. It's so cool. Also, it's been so long since we've seen something like this. Where are we? Oh, we're beneath the that. Okay. Well, we're right next to the chest as well. That's so that's gonna be kind of neat. 
And in this game, too, there are definitely things that, again, I referenced at the beginning of the session, this design doc that they made uh, for... for Breath of the Wild. And you see stuff in that doc, like Link having uh, one hand, that they ended up doing later. It's stuff that they thought was cool, but it didn't fit the, the tenets that they were designing around, and so... What do they do? They put a pin in it, and then later, they come back to it. Man, can you? I don't like dealing with you guys, just because you're weird. You're weird. I'm not a fan. I'd, oh, I never expect you to deal much damage. I mean, you're just a tree, but... I just don't like it. Okay. What is this chest? We got a note about it. So it could be something good, it could be something really good. A sword of the hero, a sword once wielded by a hero in an ancient age. When grasped, a strange sense of nostalgia washes over you. Take it when going alone uh, would otherwise be dangerous. Oh, this is that, okay. This is the Zelda one sword, but it's not wooden. They, give you, they gave me the reference, but it looks more like the Wind Waker sword to me, but... Sword of the Hero. I'm kind of sad he doesn't do the little poke. Honestly, so... I thought about streaming, um... Just because I think that my sense of humor would be very... Would lend itself very well. We're going... Honestly... No, it's probably just a construct. We're gonna go east. My sense of humor would lend itself very well to streaming. I think that'd be really fun. Uh, and what, a, a couple of the games I've thought about about streaming um, are games that I just never had a chance to let's play or finish in my own time that would make great streams. Zelda 1 is one of those games. I, Zelda 1 was my second video game ever. I wish I could say it was my first, but that, that honor belongs to Mario 3. Uh, and so many bomb rocks. Or bomb flowers. Bomb rocks. Uh, <laughs> tell what's on my brain. Zelda 1 is one of those games, and I I got really far in it, only to have uh, Nova accidentally delete my save file, and it hasn't been the same since. I do believe I'm going to be fast traveling back to the Great Bandit Central Mine, because I don't want to deal with this wall. Give me a second. Oh, it's this place. I, I totally forgot that shops exist. Uh, what... What does this offer? I was going to cut this out, but what... Yeah, you process Zonite into charges. Produce Zonite devices. Do I need any more? Because the... Yeah. Oh, wait. I don't need this explanation. It's a shop. So the crystallized charges, yeah, improve energy cells. And these just feed my, my battery in the immediate. So... Yeah. Um, I'll take them all. It costs l large zonite, which I don't really care about. That's just a currency. And I'm planning on... This costs normal zonite, but uh, sure, I'll take it. I'll take 30. It kind of stinks. Actually, it really stinks. Maybe that might have been a bad idea. Because we're just about to go to the, the sky, and I just cut my... my Zonite in half, but I, I I know where there are a couple frocks. I, I also turned into Morty for a second there. Uh, I know where there are a couple frocks, so it, it's okay. Uh, let's go this way. I I promise I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to go on a tangent here. I'm not going to find something that leads me on a wild goose chase for 20 episodes. I'm just trying to tie up some loose ends. We're really we only have a little bit of Gerudo left, like just a tiny bit. Granted, there are um, almost certainly quests that I haven't done. But, there it is. What is this? What is this? Nothing. Okay. Little bits of architecture in case you came at this from a different direction and you need to be suggested on that uh, you needed a little flag saying that you got to a place. I don't really care about the glow. I, I have glow armor, but it's it's there. I should probably also equip my glow armor. There we go. Glow isn't amazing, 
Like, the glow effect is is so minuscule, I wish it was a little bit better. But it's it's not nothing, and I, I feel like if I'm in this area, I need to dress the part, you know? I can't just not. And it's, it is useful, it is useful. It's just not terribly useful. I wish there was such a thing as dim light instead of bright light that could spread out a little bit further. Okay, that's revealing something here. Like, what is this? This is new, and this is very strangely shaped. Uh, no, I'm not going to use auto build. Not going to do it. it. It's a crutch. It's a crutch, and I don't have Zonite to do that. Save that for the sky, pal. Save that for the sky. But yeah, Zelda 1 is a great game. I would love to, I would love to let's play that. Or not let's play it. I'd love to stream that. I think it'd be a fantastic stream game. I have such fond memories, because my dad got me into Zelda 1. And he beat it. Uh, and so he would play a little bit, and then I would watch him, and then I would play a little bit. We'd help each other with the puzzles. Um, I have a, a map. This is like early 2000s, mind you. So I have a map that we printed out uh, in a bunch of different sheets, and then we taped together. And it's from my childhood. It has writing on it. Like, we were de actually decoding it because guides were scarce. They existed. I mean, speedrunning for that game already existed when I was a kid, and even early 2000s. But it was so fun to solve these puzzles. I, was, I wasn't on the internet yet, so it was I was really playing the game as it was meant to be played. Which is also the same case with Majora's Mask, is we were meant to take a lot of notes and pour countless hours in that game, even though it's not technically that long. There's so much content in it, there's so much... You can get into people's lives and there are so many secrets that really just amount to learning the character of the people around you, of all these characters they populate the world with, and it's great. I love, I love Majora's Mask so much. Definitely my one of my favorite um, fictional worlds, just in any work. It's a unique experience you can't really get anywhere else, nor do I think they could replicate it. And it reveals almost everything. That's weird. There's a little gap in the middle of this. Why? Due north. Due north. Due north at the strange little... This strange little hole of nothing. Which is a light route? What? That's the weirdest light route I've... Oh, that's a fu... I love ending off sessions like that. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm ending off the session here. I might. I honestly might. This has been a two, two hour and 18 minute session for me, so it would make sense that I end it. And I, eh, maybe I do, maybe I do. Maybe I find a, a shrine in the sky and then end it, I'm not sure. That's so weird, this is one of the weirdest uh, light routes I've seen. And honestly, I don't wanna, I don't want to fight the Lionel quite yet. Uh, he's right... He's right there. I don't want to fight him just yet, because I want to see what whatever this, uh... Whatever this platform is, I kind of want to see more so than the Lionel. It's an armored one. The reward is kind of the Lionel, because I know that I'm going to be getting cool stuff from him. And I don't know if I'm going to be getting cool stuff in from this, which is kind of sad that that's how I view it, but eh, it's, it's fine. I, it just shows where my priorities are. I really enjoy fighting Lionels. Um, it kind of gives me... It harkens back to Skyward Sword for me. Uh, I think I can do that. I think I can do that. It harkens back to Skyward Sword and some of the sword fights in there and, and how many different attacks he has. It, it, it's just cool. Um, what on earth? Can I ascend through this? Please say yes. Floating Coliseum. This is a Coliseum? 